An NBC 15 reality check two months into towing turmoil. City council members are calling for the investigation of five towing companies to hurry up here in Mobile. Now those five towing companies have formed a coalition and say they are losing most of their revenue after being suspended from the Mobile Police Department's towing rotation list for another 30 days. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro spoke to councilmen as well as the people out of work. Cassie? Well, Kim and Greg, this investigation was first launched to ensure that these towing companies were not taking advantage of people in some of their most vulnerable moments, like after car accidents. Today, two of those companies are defending themselves. I've tried to do what they've asked me to do. They still have not approached me, called me, or anything about any charges. Smith says now he waits in fear he will be criminally charged. All I want to do I want to be put back on the list as soon as possible to make a living, provide for my family. City council members have urged the police department to hasten the investigation. And I told the chief that today. I hope they can uh, finish up that investigation and, and be done with that. Going into their second 30-day suspension, SOS Towing says they're financially crippled. 85 to 90 percent of my business came from wrecks. The story is the same at Southport Towing. They received a police letter noting an alleged overcharge of more than $300. So does the company dispute the $300 overcharge that's listed in this letter? Do they dispute it? Well, we don't, we haven't seen anything. Smith had a similar answer. I have not seen any documents or anything that shows where my charges to anybody is outside any ordinance. Both companies say they feel targeted, something Public Safety Director James Barber says is not true. It's not a fishing expedition. These were specific complaints against these companies, and that's why we're looking into it. Now this second 30-day suspension ends in mid-September. For now, Mobile Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News.